These robots are testing various substances. They work day in and day out around the clock. There are hundreds of labs here. It's a painstaking process and there's no rushing it. It's a hands-off operation. This is a culture dish which has 1,536 tiny wells. I don't have to count them. I know exactly how many there are. A biological experiment is being carried out in every single one of these wells. The entire process starts when we find a chemical molecule that we want to adapt. That's what's happening in these culture dishes. We're testing millions of substances, looking for a place to begin. The scientists are testing three million substances, hunting for a promising molecule. If they do find the proverbial needle in a haystack, the next step is optimizing it. It's a bit like playing with Lego blocks. You've got a structure made out of 10 Lego blocks in various different colors. You add a Lego block here, remove another one over there. In three years, your structure might not bear any resemblance to your starting point, but it's more effective, stronger, longer lasting. After a substance is optimized, it's tested on animals. If it still looks promising, it's tested on humans. That takes another six to eight years, and there's no guarantee of success. Bayer's research focuses on drugs that treat common diseases, like cardiovascular disease and cancer. Wolfgang Plischke is a member of the board responsible for health care. The division has 55,000 employees and sales of 18 billion euros a year. Uh, yeah. <coughs> We focus on areas where there's still a medical need. We can and should focus our research only on areas where there's still an unmet need and where no optimal medical therapy exists. And the second issue is that we have to make sure that what we're doing is useful for the company. We're a business, and we're responsible to our shareholders. So we need to focus on areas where we'll eventually make a profit, which we can then reinvest in research and development. Plischke knows that competition is stiff and a patent only lasts 20 years. That's not a lot when you consider that the patent begins when the drug is still in development. During those 20 years, the new product, the medication, has to establish itself as a therapy and a medical treatment. To make sure that happens, we invest in marketing the medication. We also provide education to physicians who need information about how to use the new drug therapy effectively. It's been a successful strategy for Bayer and for Helmut Hanning too. A new drug is a rare discovery and Hanning is one of the lucky few. When it went on the German market, I went to the pharmacy and asked them to show it to me. It was just so hard to believe. The other scientists hope they'll be lucky too. But only 1% of even the most promising substances will become a drug treatment in the end.